ClickUp and Trello both claim that they're like the best applications on the market for Teams. But which of these apps are better? Maybe this video will give you an answer. Maybe that's why I titled it that way. Let's talk about that. So first of all, from a pricing standpoint, I wanted to compare these two applications as they both do have a free version that is nearly unlimited for use. You do have unlimited cards in Trello, but you are limited to 10 boards, so like Kanban views, like 10 of them in total. And then in the free forever for personal use, you have unlimited tasks and a lot of different great things regarding the views that you have. You get table views, calendar views, a lot of really nice basic stuff. Uh, you even have in-app video recording, chat, uh, they have docs in ClickUp. And then for the unlimited plan, you get everything in free. And then, and then for businesses, it's like $12 a month per member. And the small team option is really solid and you can actually even make a deal with them. Whereas the standard one here, yes, you get unlimited boards for $5, but You'll notice that it takes $10 to get all these extra views, whereas you already have calendar view for free in ClickUp, and you have table views and a lot of other different ones and better dashboards, in my opinion. And just to show you, since I have the free plan of ClickUp, how many different views you can actually get, let's go into something like this example space here. So there is obviously board views in ClickUp, which is really nice. There are different dashboards that you can have, so I can go and look at the calendar view right here. I can see a Gantt chart, just like this, a timeline chart right off the bat, an activity section. There are different workload views that are there. There's even whiteboards in ClickUp that are nice. There's an entire document functionality that has a lot of similar things to what Notions pages are like. But then when we look at Trello, it's boards. It's boards and automations. You can automate something so that for example, if I were to add my name to this and have the due date be today, you know, I can have it so that this guy's gonna get marked as checked off when I moved it to the next board, and that's a nice automation. This is something for Teams that's really good. It has built-in checklists and different power-ups so that if I put a different date and time here, you know, this countdown power-up would show me that it's an hour from the due date, but this is not exactly anything crazy. Like I'm not really out here thinking like, oh, this is the best thing I've ever seen. Like, yes, you get a calendar app from the power up side of things, but you get the actual calendar over here with the actual setup that you have. And you even have this nice home view, which is one of the most underrated parts about ClickUp. So if you're getting assigned tasks in ClickUp, I mean, you're gonna see everything in a much better way because it's if, if something's assigned to you, you're gonna have like a time blocking situation showcased with it. Like for example, if I made a task today at a certain time, today at 8 a.m., create a task, do this test list, make it assigned to me, create the task. It's gonna show up in this today view. Now this is something unique to ClickUp. There is no application that can compare to the base functionality of ClickUp, whereas you got Notion, which is also an all-in-one workspace, but Trello is just boards. And what it does is do boards really well. Like you can make these different automations with different card buttons, board buttons, and even scheduled commands but you can also do all of those same things in ClickUp. One of the only things I will say on the free plan is that for ClickUp, the amount of tags and properties you can have is limited to like 50 or something like that. It's it's not directly written on their website, but you have a limited number of like status tags you can create. It might even be lower than 50, but honestly, it's not that expensive and you can do more within ClickUp for free than you can with Trello. And you can do more for a monetary amount than you can in Trello for also paying money for it. Like if we look from an integration standpoint with Trello, you can connect a lot of different third-party apps like Slack, Adobe X and Jira because they're both Atlassian companies. And there are a lot of nice little ones here. And there are even some browser extensions as well. For example, there is this calendar power up that you can have where if I add this power up to this project management space, which is already there, and I go to the settings here, I can take this Trello calendar and use this iCalendar feed and paste it into a Google calendar. And there are different integrations for things like email. So if I go to this add power up section, which is almost like their integration, I go to Gmail here, you can quickly create new cards on your Trello board without leaving your Gmail inbox. Or I can do this one where Gmail by Cardbox basically takes different things within your Gmail and creates them and makes cards out of them. So connect to Trello. So then if I go here, I can sign into my email and you'll see, I could even take this example one right here 
and create a Trello card and move it into the to-do section on that board. And then if we go back to show you the board I'm talking about, you'll see on the to-do section, I now have a card made from that Gmail by card box thing, which is cool. It's got cool integrations. I'm not gonna act like it doesn't. But then I want you to take a second and soak in everything that ClickUp has. There's an API with ClickUp that's a little bit more robust. You have the ability to do time tracking in there with it. Google Drive, OneDrive, a actual Google Calendar Sync that's a little bit better. So if we, we showcase the Google Calendar Sync, you'll be like, yeah, at least I can see my stuff in there. Just by going to the bottom left and going to integrations, we can see that there's even a Microsoft Teams one, which is really cool. There's an email one just like you had in Trello. There's a Tableau one, which is really interesting for data visualization. So if we go into a calendar view, I can go to settings here, scroll to the bottom, and then sync with a calendar. I can add another account here. So this would be sync tasks to Google or sync events to ClickUp. So I'm gonna sync events to ClickUp, select account, connect new account, and I can do this admin. Rise productive one, hit next here. Okay, cool. So then when going back, you'll see, well, it all does come in the same color. We have the option to then go and add these different calendars to your home view, which I think is really cool. So if I go and add these time blocks, I have the tasks and time blocks all showing for me. So if I say had a different set of tasks at different times within the time blocks, I'd be able to see these different things side by side, which is really cool. And this is the kind of things you can do in ClickUp that you just can't have in Trello. So I think for personal use, ClickUp is 100% better. And for team use, it might be better to have Trello. But I am a firm believer that ClickUp will continue to improve its tech stack. And it has some bugginess, sure, but it's just a better application than Trello already. It's like Trello if it was more than just boards and had functional and actually fun to use features. Now I know Trello is used by a lot of Fortune 500 companies, so it is a very trusted software, so I'm not going to say it's bad, but I personally would recommend ClickUp over Trello any day. And I would also recommend that you click on this video to see how you can improve your productivity even more.